Before we begin this tutorial, I would like to say that if you have a question about your TV repair, please comment below the video and we will respond with advice and a link to your replacement part. Be sure to include your TV brand and model number along with the symptoms your TV is showing. You can typically find your TV model number on the back of your TV. You can also send us a YouTube message with your TV repair questions as well. Before you begin your repair, be sure to unplug your TV from any power source and properly ground yourself. We have already removed the back cover of our TV, but you will want to remove all the screws connecting your back cover to your TV and then simply remove the back cover piece. Over here we have the main board. The main board controls your TV's inputs and outputs. This main board is connected to the backlight inverter slash LED driver via this ribbon cable. Right here we have the backlight inverter slash LED driver. This is what supplies power to turn on the backlighting for the TV. LED TVs are basically the same as LCD TVs with one real exception, the source of illumination for the screen and the board that drives that, that illumination. LED TVs use LED backlights as opposed to LCD TVs which use CCFL cold cathode fluorescent lamps. The screen, the screen though on an LED TV and LCD are the same. This TV has two power supply boards. Here we have the G7 power supply board. This provides power to the backlight inverter slash LED driver via this cable. The two power supply boards are connected to each other right here. The other power supply is called the G6 power supply. The G6 power supply connects to the main board and to a power saving switch located on the outside of the TV. That goes to the switch. This connection here goes to the main board. Now we've already removed the cover for our TCON board right here, but this LED driver also has a cover. Here's what the TCON board cover looked like originally before we unscrewed it. So if you're doing any repairs to the backlight inverter slash LED driver or the TCON board, you will need to remove the covers for each of them before you replace the board. Removing the covers can be simply done by removing the screws that hold them to the panel. The TCON board actually takes the image and sends it to the panel, which makes it show up on your screen. You can see the TCON board is connected to the LED driver slash backlight inverter here and then connects to the panel via these cables here. One of the most common problems with a LED TV is that the TV will not turn on. If your TV will not turn on and you have no power on your TV, that is most likely a problem with the power supply. Here are some common symptoms that LED TVs can show that could be a bad main board. If your inputs are not working and you have no signal from the HDMI connection, the tuner connection, the RCA connection, or any of those, etc., that could be a bad main board. If your TV has no audio, if your TV set restarts on its own while powered on, that could be a bad main board. The LED driver is similar to an LCD TV's backlight inverter. So the most common problem here is that you wouldn't have lighting from the LED driver. So your TV would turn on, you could have sound, but you would have no image on the screen and no backlights. Once again, you could use a flashlight and run the flashlight test on your TV. We'll put up the link right now on the video for the flashlight test and you can learn how to determine with a flashlight if your TV has backlighting or not. If you find out that your TV does not have backlighting, this would be the most common problem here, the LED driver. Some common problems with the TCON board. 
is that if you have no picture on your screen, but your TV does have backlights and sound, that could be the T-Con. Earlier we said it could be the main board, but the T-Con could also be at fault if that is the symptom. You could also have colored vertical lines on your screen, or half of the screen is missing the picture. Those would both be symptoms that could be a bad T-Con board. Thank you for watching our LED repair video. Please remember that if you're having a problem with your TV and you want to ask us a question about that problem, please be sure to comment in the comment section below this video. We will respond with our thoughts on the symptom and the diagnosis and be able to recommend a replacement part for your TV repair. Please be sure to include the TV brand, the model number, and any symptoms that your TV is showing. This will allow us to better understand your problem and give you a better diagnosis. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comments section below or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends and help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.